Hey everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. And not so long ago I made this video about laser engraving on stainless steel with mustard. Uh, you could put some mustard on stainless steel and then use a very cheap laser to engrave that steel. And boy what a comment did I get on that video. And uh, well, some of the comments were very helpful to me because I learned a lot from them. Uh, in fact, the term engraving wasn't a good term. Um, when you are engraving things with a laser, you are burning away the material on which you are working. And well, this was not the case when working with the laser. In fact, I was kind of etching on the top of the stainless steel and therefore it's not not called uh, engraving but it's called marking and uh, well this was something that uh, someone explained to me and well he's completely right uh, so there is a difference between engraving and marking yet uh, it's very special that the cheap lasers that we are using the the, the uh, 150 to 200 dollar uh, laser engravers are capable of doing so because normally a marking laser costs way more money than, than, than the money you have to pay for these types of lasers. So uh, although the name wasn't correct, it's still pretty incredible that it's possible to do so. Now another thing, and this is also something I learned, is that uh, some viewers mentioned that they couldn't get anything uh, yeah, burned or engraved or uh, however you want to call it uh, with their lasers and uh, I, I couldn't find which was the reason for this I, it was strange that I get this great success and then other people say that my video is a complete fake because they tried it and they couldn't get it to work now I found out that uh, they are right and I know now why they are right and everything got to do with the type of mustard that you are using so I used some very simple plain mustard uh, but then I found out that there isn't a thing like very simple plain mustard there are in fact many many types of mustard and uh, well not all do work as well as the other so I've been experimenting with a whole lot of types of mustard and I have to say that uh, out of the seven that I've got here only two worked and well I think that I was just lucky when I tried out my first uh, attempts with this process on my laser because it worked right away but I wouldn't have succeeded if I had the wrong type of mustard and the chances that I had the wrong type of mustard were bigger than the chances that I had the good type of mustard. Just, yeah, I was just lucky. So um, now the types of mustard that I have here, they are all uh, Dutch or French types of mustard. And uh, well, that's a bit of a problem for this video because I'm going to explain you that uh, in this video, I'm going to show you in a test that this mustard is the very best you can get. But this is called Limburgse mustard. Yeah, it's Dutch, sorry. Uh, but you can't buy this anywhere else than in the Netherlands. Uh, they sell it at the Jumbo supermarket. So for all my Dutch viewers, this is where you can get it. Uh, however, if you are, and that's most likely one of my viewers that are coming from all over the world, then you won't be able to buy this type of mustard. And therefore, uh, I will urge you to experiment with multiple types of mustard to yeah to be able to mark with your laser on stainless steel uh, as well in this video i'm going to show you uh, a lot of mustards don't work now what the reason for it is i don't know and uh, i'm still finding uh, ways to get an answer to that question because well i really don't know is it a chemical process uh, maybe it's a color thing uh, i i really don't know but i found out that 
this mustard, which got a lot of mustard seed in it, uh, is very, very good in engraving. And also another type of mustard without any seeds in it at all. They're they all uh, yeah, they just crushed. Uh, also works very well. While another type of mustard with a lot of seeds in it doesn't work at all. So it's a strange thing and I don't know what the chemical differences are. I don't know what the color differences are, uh, so to say that it, it, that it has an effect on the laser. But I can tell you that experimenting with multiple types of mustard will give you good results. Now let's dive into the test. As you can see here, I've got a test and in that test I've got multiple types of uh, mustard and I write the name of that mustard uh, with the laser engraver so that afterwards we can see which was, uh, which was which and therefore we know well, which mustard we used. So the first four, they just didn't work and I was getting frustrated a bit because yeah, what was going wrong? Why wasn't I able to engrave anything with it? Well, in previous runs, I was able to engrave with it and I couldn't get it until I got to the fifth one, which worked. And then the sixth one, which worked a lot better. And then in the end, I tried this one and this one, wow, it really works like a charm. So. If you're in the Netherlands or maybe in Belgium, I think they sell it there as well. And you are able to find Limburgse mustard from the brand Marne. Then you're in luck because this one, well, it really works like a charm. It, it really burns a nice deep engraving into the metal. So this is it. This is what I wanted to show you with this video. And this is why I can imagine that some people were frustrated or saying that the video was fake uh, because they didn't get any success out of their lasers with their mustard. And uh, well, I learned now that uh, it's very well possible that if you've only got one type of mustard in your house, then you won't be able to, to get a good engraving or a good uh, marking. So, yeah, it, it's a strange thing and uh, the only thing I can say, because you won't be able to buy this type of mustard in your country possibly, uh, is go and try a lot of different types of mustard and then you will find out that it really works. Uh, I got seven here, two of them are working very well. So uh, it was an investment of about 15 uh, euros. Uh, it's about the same in dollars, $15. So you will be able to find a good working type of mustard uh, when you are buying a lot of it. And I'm sure you will find good success with your laser as well. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.